Okay, I'm recording. I always wanted to talk about Google Earth because Google Earth is an amazing tool. We've not had Google Earth um, really until recent recent times, but it allows you to go back to places that you remember from your from your past. And I use it a lot. I mean, this is a picture of Gibraltar behind me. This is what I took this about ten years ago. It's really out of date. I mean, for example, uh, that way there, there's a load of new development there. There's all new buildings and skyscrapers and shit. But that's that's. I just wanted a background of Gibraltar, and I found that one, so I thought I'd use that one. But um, I was going to talk about when I was in the army. Um, it's not something I was proud of. I didn't enjoy being in the army. I uh, I joined the army in 1979 when I was 17, almost 18. And I thought, I'll go on Google Earth and I'll look. I had occasionally driven past. I mean, I, I only did three years and I was um, I passed out a depot RCT, Royal Corps Transport in Aldershot, and I was posted across the road <laughs> about 100 yards to 27 Logistics Support Group Regiment, and I hated it. And when I left the army, I was at 27 Reg, so I didn't do anything, didn't go anywhere. I uh, would sweep the parade square. I mean, that was about it. That was all I did. But nevertheless, I've been there on Google Earth. This is, this is today. Okay, and I'm going to make that picture bigger. There we go. And I'm going to go and I'm going to show you. I've got to zoom in this roundabout. Let's just zoom out. OK, show you where we are. This is this is Farnborough. This is the airport at Farnborough. See that? This is where the Farnborough, the famous Farnborough air show is. And if we zoom out even further, you can see London is there. It says Londres because we're in Spain. Okay, this is the Isle of Wight. Brighton is here somewhere. There's Worthing, so Brighton's about there. Okay, so let's zoom into Aldershot. This is where I was. Aldershot camp. There's that roundabout I'm looking for. Now, the roundabout wasn't there in the back in my day, but we do remember the crossroads here because there was a church. It, that's the garrison church that one there we had to go to um church services and things and the royal military police were next door this was all fields there was, there was nothing here and this was depot para browning barracks there was a big um, airplane c-47 dakota parked here and down queen's parade um this is this big field here. This is where the, the paras would do their training. They'd, they'd jump out of barrage balloons, blimps, and they just land in, in the in the static line jumps out of balloons. Remember watching them. Anyway, our barracks was called Rhine Barracks, and it was it was here. We caught this, and it was on the on the on this side somewhere. But I was never there anyway. It's all demolished now. Um, it, it's interesting to look and to see to see if we can find out where where we were. Hospital Hill, hot top of Hospital Hill. It was here. It was here. There's Hospital Hill. There's the turning. That was a dead end. I seem to remember that road. But our barracks were here. It's all gone. Look, it's all housing estate now. No, I lived in my quarters on Willems Park, which was the bottom of Hospital Hill. There was a turning there. And Willems Park was here. There's Willems Avenue still. Willems Park was here. And there was married quarters were here. They're no longer there. Look, this is uh, Tesco's supermarket now. Tesco's. Uh, so my 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 house was about here. I've got pictures looking out the window. And there was um, a barracks or something. There was a wall of an old barracks at this end. Uh, it's the Premier Inn now, no, but I'm sure the wall's there because it'll be uh, it'll be listed. I'm sure 
at the end here. There was, they actually kept one wall of the old Wellington barracks. Uh, I'm sure it's there. Anyway, that's all gone. It's been demolished. But our camp, there was Hospital Hill. There's Middle Hill. And this was Gun Hill because we used to drink in the Exchange pub, which was on this corner. I think it's a house now. Naffy Roundabout. I remember all this. This is the twin cinemas. Both of these were cinemas. And there was a garage in between the cinemas. It looks like it's a uh, scrapyard now, by the looks. <laughs> I know, and there was Tony's fish and chip shop opposite. That's all been demolished, though. Progress, I guess. Anyway, we used to run back up Gun Hill after the pub and uh, be drinking the town centre, Victoria Road, and that, yeah. Anyway, getting back to the barracks, top of the hill here, Cambridge Military Hospital. This is where my daughter was born. Actually, it was the Princess Margaret Louise Hospital, which was next to it. It doesn't appear to be there anymore. That seems to be gone. Oh, don't forget, we're, we're going back. We're going back to 1979, 1980. So, going back 40 years. Anyway, anyway, top of Gone Hill. Uh, we came into the camp. The camp is, was, right here. That's the main gate. There was no roundabout then. The main gate was here. I've been on guard duty here many, many times. This was depot. This is where you, you, you did the basic training and you passed out. Uh, this, you can just about make out there was a building there. This is the accommodation block. And we, we'd come in this end and my um, room was here. This was it. And when I had, we had our photographs taken. I've got the photographs somewhere. I've got one picture of me in the, in the shirt KF. Standing there looking very old, shiny boots, everything. This was the car park. We had we actually standing in front of the block here. Then the, uh, the the photographer was on the car park, took the picture with the block behind. The block's gone now. The trees were there. This was another accommodation block. That was another accommodation block. And this over here, this was the, the naffy and the cookhouse. And upstairs, there was a bar, the gymnasium at the back. So I think that was the gymnasium. The, uh, the guard room would be here somewhere this was all the sqms stores and the armory and uh, don't recall i don't remember any buildings being there this was the parade square all this was the parade square as i remember don't know what those are they, they look like remnants of buildings but i don't remember any buildings being there this was our hq here the museum and uh, there was a pathway that we used to march down because there were classroom blocks. And as you cross the road here to 27 Regiment, this is 27 Regiment. It, didn't, it looked nothing like this. This was all a car park full of vehicles. And uh, that wasn't there. These buildings weren't there. These are the workshops. That was there. The actual classroom block was here. Big classroom block here. And the entrance was about here. So you'd come down this road, turn into the camp. The guard room is down here. It's all completely changed. The whole place has been demolished and revamped. The only thing that is original from when I was there is the workshops and this silver line. Can you see that silver line? This was A Troops lines. And uh, then there's B Troops, C Troop, obviously. Seven squads on this side. Then there was eight squads on this side. Uh, but those those silver lines were was a trench with two pipes in it hot water pipes and um, we have to get underneath that it was a nightmare because leaves and things would, would land and litter underneath um, every single day we had to get down there with a brush and clean every single bit of shit out of there absolute nightmare i don't miss this place this was all fields over here and as you come down and turn the corner this corner there was no roundabout there there was rifle range, and there is the rifle range. It's still there. Look, this is where we used to shoot. Uh, this is where I put the pound in the beret, and I used to win the pound. I used to win thirty quid every time. There was thirty of us, and I used to win the, the, the trophy with the beret. This is where we used to shoot during basic training. Uh, there was none of these car parks here. The civilian car park was here. There's a building in there now. The P.O.L. point was here. 
as I recall. And uh, this was just a big car park. There was nothing else there. And there was an exit. There was an exit. I don't think it's... It might still be there, but it looks unused. This yeah, this was the way out. It's all overgrown, but this was the, the way out. I remember uh, Captain Cubberley crashing his maxi. This is the fart coming out because they, they're the party in the, in the HQ. Came around this corner and demolished this lamp post and his car was in the air. Was it a maxi? Yeah, I think it was. And uh, everybody hushed it up. And, oh, no, no, don't mention it. Don't talk about it. Don't talk about it. <laughs> Uh, obviously, the, the road has changed, but it's. Uh, and then we look at the uh, the Basingstoke Canal back here somewhere. Is that the Basingstoke Canal? Yeah, that must be it. Yeah. We had to go for runs, and we would run and jog over the, and come down the back way past Mons Barracks. Mons was over here somewhere. It was all picket fences and sheds and things like that. And then the BFT, yeah, you'd run back up here to the crossroads and then come running back in and you have to do that the last part of it in 15 was it 15 minutes 12 minutes can't remember i remember missing it by 15 seconds once and having to do it again that was annoying but I, yeah I, I i think google earth is amazing it's amazing to just look at places and just see how much it's changed i mean look next time i look at this it's probably going to be oh the officer's mess the officer's mess was at the top that must have been the officer's mess there. He came around and up the hill. Uh, that could be it. Yeah, there was a turning circle. I think this was the officer's mess. So when you were duty driver, you had to come up here and hit the officers up. Oh, and there was Mon. There was um, Puckeridge. We had to go to Puckeridge, the ammunition dump. And there was that. That was. Do you know? I can't remember. It was in the trees here somewhere. Uh, that must be it. Not sure. Not sure, no, because there was blast walls all round because there was loads of Southeast Reserve forces. No, there was Gurkhas were there as well. Do you know, I can't remember where it was. Somewhere in this area. It's probably gone, long gone and been moved. Yeah. We called it Puckridge and we had to do guard. Everyone had to take turns guarding the place. Vine Close, that was where the uh, Sergeant Major lived. It's number seven, Vine Close. That was, uh, the whole close was just for Sergeant Majors and angry people <laughs> i'm sure it was just here somewhere it's just here can't remember but isn't it marvelous isn't it fascinating you can just look at these places the guy urinated on a, on a barbed wire fence it was like an ammunition supply store and they just put barbed wire fence in a tower and everything they're wandering now i'm guarding it and my mate urinated on the, on the electric fence Got a shock. <laughs> we couldn't stop laughing when, he, when we found out. But yeah, we were so close to Farnborough. Farnborough Airport is right there, look. Right there. Wow. There's Ash Ranges. Ash Rang These must be Ash Ranges. Yeah. Went there loads of times in the, uh, in the shooting team doing shooting competitions. I suppose every line that's 100 metres, 200 metres, 300 metres. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hundred metre range, that one. Yeah. Great form, I can still smell the cordite. Lots of horns beeping outside. I think um, Spain might have scored a goal. Or well, maybe they've won again. It's a football match on tonight, isn't there? What else do I remember from Aldershot? Uh, 
Well, it's brilliant. You know, you, you should do it. You should you should go back to places from your past. And I mean, this is forty years ago, more than that. Um, Seventy-nine, I joined up. Eighty, call it nineteen eighty. So yeah, forty-four years ago. Lots changed. A lot is no longer there, for sure. Like I said, this was called Buller Barracks, by the way. See Buller, Buller, Buller Road there. Buller was a general in the South Africa campaign, I believe. Relief of Mafeking, that sort of. And as we drive down this road, there was the Army Catering Corps used to be over here somewhere. As I remember. Army Corps of Chefs, we call them. Clayton Barracks. Was that Clayton Barracks there? That looks original, doesn't it? it? Probably was. And then of course you can you can click on the actual road. That could be Clayton Barracks. We, we did. We had to go in there for some reason. We we're doing jobs in there, and then as we went round this road, there was forty-three command workshops, as I recall, on the left. Quite often we had to take vehicles down. That was something to do with the Remi. I'm sure it was here. Looks like it's all in civilian hands now. Maybe, maybe not. Alderman's Road. Don't think it was this far down. You often take wagons and things in there. Let's have a closer look at uh, the camp itself, see what we can see from the road, Allison Road. There used to be a duck. You remember those um, amphibious vehicles from the Second World War, from D-Day? D-U-K-W or something they called them. Oh, God, look at the state of it. Unbelievable. So those trees were there. There was a hut. Here somewhere, I used to have to stand in there with my number two uniform on, hit that barrier, checking everyone's ID coming in and out the camp. But the, there was no fence all the way around. There was not a fence. Last time I went, there was a fence, but you could just walk out 360 degrees. So it was pointless and futile having someone on the gate. I suppose they just did it just for. But I don't recognise anything here. I think. Probably can't even go down that way. No, there's a barrier. Look, I don't recognise anything there because there was a big block block of buildings right here where the car park is. Oh, look, there's a Saracen. We've got a Saracen as a gate guard. We had Saracens. The funny steering wheel on them. Amazing. Some things change, some things don't. So let's look at the crossroads. Go down to the crossroads. Where am I? Why is that all blurred? That's the garrison church. Obviously, that hasn't changed. Now, remember, there was all mouldy old flags full of bullet holes and things hanging up all the way down the church. And you're in there like this, looking at the old flags, you're thinking, God. Who on earth? got shot to pieces in this war look at that that is depot para there was it's gone gone completely well it's time i was going it really is time i was going but it is it's great it's great i i, I often go back to liverpool and look at things in liverpool from my childhood and lots of that's completely demolished completely changed some things is the same ish 
although they've changed and grown and morphed. But I love Google Earth. I think it's brilliant. You can go anywhere in the world and just find things. You can. It's amazing what you can find on Google Earth. Thanks for watching. Good night. And may your God go with you.